Well, this is it. Our journey has come to its end. Our lives, as we know them, are over. What, Colin? We're adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously, though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. And if you can't be careful, there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. Okay, we came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go Lola, before we get Milo. recognized. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance abuse? Well... Oh, I love that... that... Y your outfit, Lola. Yeah, this is... it's fun, right? I kept telling Lola we should have hung out with you guys more. Then why didn't you? You don't need me to go. We're not each other's sidekicks. Because he needs his wingman. Wing human. Who wants to get drunk? Let's get a drink, like right now. Come on, the table's right, it's here. Oh, whatever speeds this process up. Oh, and I'm sorry, this is my cousin, Katie. She's gonna be starting here in the fall. Hey. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 never, ever, ever. I know now, but. Okay, don't need to salt the earth. Leave me a fingernail of dignity here. No, I'm, I'm just saying it'd be too weird now. You're wonderful. You know you're wonderful. But you can't date someone you've already seen cry at a coffee commercial. Let's drink! Come on, they have them right over here. Are we getting that drink, Milo? Hi. Is this... Is this where the, uh, the ales are? It's all $2 vodka mixed with $3 lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo? Lola? Uh, it really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? I read somewhere that monkey humans invented alcohol. Yeah, I, I probably need something to, uh, to settle me a little. Don't get too settled. I'm not dragging your ass through the quad ever again. That shady chiropractor said my skeleton looked like a question mark. Yeah, so, do you guys want one? They're getting warm. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does, and vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention, all skin bags who now have to pay taxes. Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. Ooh, okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suicide. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. You don't want the clerk there knowing your pin number. Wear pants. Not just for when you're out, either. You're not top cat. And get yourself one of those sperm-killing cyborg arm implants. I am not playing. Oh, uh, okay? Better not see your ass posting about a flare in sciatica, all right? Yeah, that's good, thanks. Keep in touch. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. And seriously, don't take offense at the... I meant it when I said you were funderful. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> Yeah, she seemed a little, uh, sloopy. Sloopy? Sloppy Christ, I can't even say the damn. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you wanna go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're leaving. This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. <laughs> you crack me up, though. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, thanks. If you're wondering, I pulled the short straw, so that's why I'm the bartender. Great, that's... yeah, thanks. Want a drink? They're... they're here. They haven't moved. Sure.
no, 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 no. When, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, uh... Right? And those effects. Oh, I couldn't even tell those weren't... <gasps> and the score? Oh, if he doesn't get his Oscar. <laughs> Film geek alert! Movie nerd, starboard bow, land ho! No, but seriously, movies are our children's future in so many ways. Uh, you're... Psycho? Milo. He's the one who had his wisdom teeth removed and then threw up all over the admissions director. Oh, yeah! That... it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, that... that story just didn't go away, did it? Talk about a bad second day. Sigma Kappa gave you a nickname, right? Herpaderp? Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was nice catching up. Have a good summer. See ya. That... Okay, I know that could have gone better. Shit lips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You, you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Let's... Let's see. I can see you're intimidated by my electric personality. It's understandable. Oh, Jesus. Class is now in session. Watch and learn. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is is just the dream your unconscious body is having? No, totally. And like, what we think of as money is just like, just our projections of value. Don't overheat there, Einstein. Save some of that brain matter for when the psychedelics come out. Uh, who are you? I'm Lola. This is... Colonel Shitlips. We know. Oh, come on. I... That was... Lola, was it? Are you a friend of Captain Pukemouth or Townie? Auditing the school? Thinking of transferring here, maybe? Because if you are, don't believe the brochure. Yeah, it's fine. I get it. Everybody blends together. Like you, right? <laughs> I don't remember you specifically, just like everyone else that's exactly like you. <laughs> okay, well... Good to see you guys. Um, <clears throat> keep it, keep it up. Oh, bye, chin flaps. Bye, Nola. Milo, you wanted to mingle. Why are you sheepdogging me? Lola, they don't even remember you. And the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once. I mean, how sad is this? We went to the school. These are our peers. Who cares what any of these people think about us? We graduated, remember? We are done with these idiots. Lola. College was a non-stop, inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world. You think anyone in society is gonna care what they called you in college? What's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world. And the real world starts right fucking now. Everyone, hairy people, your attention please. Uh, stop, the awesome music. Is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Milo and or Lola, are you here? Uh, is this like a prank, guys? Cause it's a little- Milo, Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. Milo, come on, they're just fucking with you. Huh? I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank God I don't have to do my kegels. Uh, holy, holy shit. Uh, are, are you? Oh, oh, uh, do you? Are you, is what's happening to you okay? Or? Lola, I... what? Is this a... <laughs> oh, look at this! They, 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 they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! <laughs> what? I... what is... <laughs> look at his dumb face! Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You want to know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell's going on in here? Uh, Mr. Madamantis, we were just assisting in the transition I don't between- I want to hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, 
Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road. And you better double-time it if you want to get in before close. Uh, late for what? The wildly expensive costume ball everyone is apparently going to? Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What? What? You died. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What the... I... Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get processed. I... <laughs> And the rest of you? Put all this crap away. Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, I want this place spotless. Hey, I got tickets to the 19 Black Sox fighting a pack of wolves tonight. I can't really be doing overtime. The wolves have Toy Cobb, asshole. So, spoiler alert, the Sox are losing. Get in the you're, grooves there. You're probably used to this, but I... We have a couple of questions. Wrong. You want the door there. I'm not a door. Go down the road. The processor will explain everything. And this... I, I can't. Do we have a step stool anywhere? Milo, get a grip. Remember when Alpha Phi said you want a date with Jessica Rabbit? Yeah, they spiked my coffee with LSD and I made out with a rose bush. But this isn't a prank, Lola. Nobody put VR lenses in our contacts. This is really happening. Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? Why, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We, we had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. Yeah, this feels like wine and sushi wrong. We should... We should, uh... Ask the processing station guy. Hopefully it's a person, and not like an automated ATM. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening! Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. It's cheating! The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen. Hey, Milo, I'm as surprised as you are, okay? My mom made me go to church until I was 12. I mean, I, I just sat there and read Mad Magazine until I stopped hearing, Can I get a witness? Just, this is wrong. Way wrong. And, and, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And, and, and we'll, we'll get this. They'll fix it. It'll get fixed. We're, we'll be fine. Sure. You, you kind of paused there before you said sure, do you? Do you know that? It kind of makes it sound a little like you don't believe it. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, 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 look at this. It says, the scales of judgment, where Osiris weighed Satan against a feather in a drunken bet to see who gained the most weight over winter break? Hey, hey, either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger? James Whitney Bolanger? Uh, what? Jimmy who? Okay, well, judging by your complexion, you're probably not the plantation owner who was drowned by his kids, so. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. Hey, 
Hey, kids. Hey, you want to buy rug? Listen, I got dodecahedrons, punch bowls, uh, uh, the toilet covers with St. Michael's face on them. Sorry, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. Okay. Marcy Sullivan? Marcy Sullivan. Oh, uh, yes? Here. Here! Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Lola. Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Lola Wolf. Uh, present. Ah, oh, you still have your mouth. Great. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Uh, I... My friends usually call me Milo. Uh, a little overeager pluralizing friends there, but okay, sure. This... Okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Is table two? Okay, that's this must be us. You know, it's funny. I, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like I've just, I'm getting some level of emotional control at least. Oh that... my God, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead, and we are in hell. How is this not hitting me before? We are in hell, and we are dead. Get a grip, Lola. You were the rock. Don't make me the rock. Okay, I can't be the rock. I am not fine. How was I fine? This, this is insane. Literally, the worst thing that could possibly happen to us is happening to us right now. Hi, guys. I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we, there has, there's been a mistake. We don't, we don't even know why or how we died, so. Yeah, you know how when you're a kid, you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. So, okay, so do you know how we died? I surely don't. No, sir, no, ma'am, not my department. I don't do collections. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies. Okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder, suicides, and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Okay, cool. All right, Lola, which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Of these? The, uh, the woman with the family, probably. Uncritical companionship and species propagation. Okay, got it. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> oh. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean, ugh. <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good hand-eye coordination. I'll put you down as functioning mammal. 
<gasps> Lightning oh, round! Man. This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Oh, wedding! Lola, drugs. No, thank you. Milo, crowds. Uh, uh, tired. Milo, I mean, Lola, break! Like taking a break? Ho, 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 what could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, what? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow, the sultan of revulsion, the drain on your brain, that pebble in your shoe you just can't get out. I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you, with anyone, really. It's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team, a real partnership. I want you to know that, oh crap, there's two of you? I I'm so sorry, little lady. I didn't see you there. Let, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Maria Wormhorn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunkmates. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi! Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados. What does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free-range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that. Office hours? Do we... do people get, like, time off? Hey, Norma Ray, it ain't for the people, it's for the demons. You think getting whipped for ten hours is hard? Try swinging the cat of nine tails all the live long day. You'll pray to trade seats. Abigail Cunningham. Yes. Your bones will be broken every day by a ball peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. Ah! Oh my god, Milo, she's. Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh. No. It's you. I, we just did this like two minutes ago. Milo, this is it. Okay, but this is, we gotta get out of here. Lola, what the hell do you think we can even? Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tetherball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only robbed Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> Now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun, see you later, I'm going to get drunk. Wait, what was our crime? Our, uh, our sin? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but, but what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another... ride? Are you like his... his friend? 
I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay, I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Phlegius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be, a uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like, ferry us out of here? That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, honestly, just, like, just anywhere but here, for starters. I like the low expectations. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first an Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? I promise I won't bite. I'm getting the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh... Hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you- Ah, <sighs> here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your end. Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead, you're in hell, it's bewildering, I know, but like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money. But then someone upstairs finally realized we don't really have an economy down here. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big landmass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch -in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss. The outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so. And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Hey. I played water polo in gym class voluntarily, okay? Milo and I can egg beat her like our lives depend on it. I'm sure you can, Lola. I'm, I'm sure that if you were on the Titanic, we'd have a lot more Polish people today. But things are a little different here, so just do what I say and stay out of the river. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first an Izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh, use that information as you will. Just don't shake everybody's hand, is what I'm saying. And look at people's shoes when you talk to them. First and Izzard? Why is it called First and Izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York hey, called hey, New York? Sam! Sam! What? Did you did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean... These are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. We didn't drown any kittens, okay? I would never do that. Yeah, you're pretty allergic. Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Hey! 
Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. I warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah, he's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okie smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Is Fornius like a, a, um, a demon drinking buddy or something? He's a middle manager in the fifth circle. Sometimes he makes requests, you know, specific souls for his department. I think some tech startup guy had a heart attack sport hunting homeless people in Portugal, so maybe it's that. So, there goes nothing. Are you ready? A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill, how the heck fire are ya? Hey, Forney, perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. I'm just sure. We looked adorable at the person pound, okay? She was powerless to resist. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we, we didn't want to get into it earlier, but we, we actually want to try and get home if, uh, if that's. Okay, yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we, we can get into it in a bit. Just, uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, uh, all right. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me, bartender, do you have like uh, a menu? Or... Okay, okay, give me a second, miss. A woman ordered a bitter lemon drop, and I'm trying to remember if I got any eggs. Come back in a minute. Whatever, let's just go upstairs with Sam, Lola. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't want to wear it. Get him to invite us up. Yes, let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Excuse me, barkeep. We would like a... Uh... Hey. Can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How are you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? It's not the the worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont? Oh, it's still, you know. I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't... Nobody take it as a challenge. She's Lola. I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to... Wait, 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 wait. You're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here... Um, sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. <laughs> wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. 
Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't two percent. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend, let's go. Cheers. <laughs> Ah, uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fuck? What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are, Jim Jum. <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, uh, yesterday morning. Hey, dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ordinary. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. T Ted, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should... We're missing our chance, we should go ask him. Right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. To Sam, and, uh, her info. Okay, let's get him. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait, maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a uh, squirrel trying to... Trying to... Ugh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh... On the menu this morrow's eve. A fine selection, let me tell you. Uh, the great Amathian sounds pretty cool. A great Amathian. All right. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. Hey, uh... Guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. No, I mean, uh, help with whatever. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not going to get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it seriously? I was six. Don't worry about Danny, okay? He's just a little steamed because he found out his favorite stuffed animal from childhood. Georgie! <laughs> right, Georgie. The talking platypus. Well, he could only talk because I was possessing it all the time. And you don't think that's a betrayal? It was a joke. I'm happy to see you, man. Jesus, what a scam.
scary motherfucker, and I thought the shapes my slinky made were off putting. Yeah, you don't mess with a boy's childhood like that. I mean, do you even like Norman Rockwell? Hey, it was a goof! It wasn't a goof to me, dickwad! Hey, if I have to warn you one more time... I'm sitting, I'm sitting. I got sent to an institution, because no one would believe me! I still can't take a piss without carrying a sport for protection! Okay, okay, calm down. I don't want the bouncer taking any of my good organs. And anyways, you asked me to staple your baby sister's feet to the floor. Boy, this cavalier attitude towards your PTSD must make you pretty fucking mad, right? It's nothing worth getting angry about. I just fooled you for nine straight months, that's all. That's it, you giant sack of shit! You're gonna regret making me love you! I mean, the drowning that farmer's kid! You'll never make me regret that. Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter, and it hasn't been washed in race. But it'll be <laughs> dirty! Hey, Van Dyke. Where's, uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bouncer left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, that... The guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Never caught, though. Uh, not that this isn't probably obvious, but what's a death? A death day? Yeah, words can be confusing. This is Tommy's first year in hell. We like to kind of go full helicopter mom for the paper anniversary. Don't ask me why. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? Milo here almost started a bar fight, and the bouncer left his post. Is there anything but wrong lessons to take from that? Wow, I'm impressed. Phil got involved and you still have your feet? Someone up there doesn't mind you. Hey, we're, we're cool, okay? I, I, uh, I... Yeah, you obviously died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I, we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour, or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled-in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Okay, but why are you telling us this? I feel like I'm talking to my uncle about how great Brooklyn used to be. I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out-drink the Prince of Lies? 
We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out-party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo, welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. Have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho, psycho pump? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on many adventures, but I feel like I'm always strangely getting involved in random folks' deaths. So, uh, ever take any famous people? Like, who would you say was your most interesting fare? What, like in the last year? Sure. I took a woman who had gotten sent to hell, the first circle, mind you, so it's not that bad. But still, hey, she was sent there because sponsors, she wore gold most of the The guy that thinks no one ever cheated on him. And the gal that wants to be housewife with one and a half kids. <laughs> Reach for the stars. Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, uh, I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. Uh-huh. And uh, what does that mean again, exactly? Oh, uh, it means I'll be popping up here and there to mentally and spiritually agonize you. T to the best of my ability, of course. <laughs> I'm still new. Personal demons are like mayflies or, or like uh, dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Korea Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah, it's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans are afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. Well, good luck. I'll try to act really, uh, Sad, or whatever, when you show up with a picture of my favorite dead aunt. Oh, come on, I think we could do a little better than that. Anyways, I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds, against them. Y you didn't like them, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! Anyway, my ride's just up here. All right, Sane's place is on Welkin Way. I figure you want to get there spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. All right, let's, uh, let's meet, uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. So what's uh, what's Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you! I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song and song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, he lost the war, so he ended up here in Abaddon, aka Hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. 
Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become, like, a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. You, um, you ever met him? Uh, you're gonna meet him in like 10 minutes, Lola. Do you really think I haven't met him yet? That's not saying yes. Yes, I've met the devil, okay? We know each other. Well? Uh, as well as anyone, I guess. As well as any fairy man, anyway. What, did you two like date or something? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, sweetheart. Satan could find a way to kill a damn cactus, let alone a relationship. He's very, uh, committed to himself, let's say. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke. You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties, like, I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant-ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's... there has to be another way. Let's check it out. 